Hello, I'm Dave Caldwell with your SV News Break for Thursday, February 19th. Local sheriff's detectives are calling him the Starbucks card bandit, and tonight they want your help in IDing him. Authorities believe the man shown here in surveillance photos may have used a Starbucks gift card that was stolen from a victim's vehicle to purchase a cup of joe the very next day. According to a sheriff's department press release, a Starbucks card was stolen from an unlocked vehicle parked on Trail Ridge Road in Canyon Country last month. The next day, that card, which had been registered online by its owner, was used in Santa Clarita. The victim contacted the sheriff's department after Starbucks let them know the card had been used locally. Anyone with information about the man in these photos is asked to contact Detective Rubalcava at 661-255-1121. Valencia Water Company is holding a special public hearing in April to discuss a proposed water rate increase. The rates, if adopted, will raise the average general metered household's water bill to $1.64 per month by 2017. Costs are determined based on the average usage of 100 cubic feet of water monthly, or about 750 gallons. The current rate is $1.47. The Water Retailers Governing Board is hosting the meeting on April 2nd at 6 p.m. in the multi-purpose room at Valencia High School. New rates could go into effect as early as May 1st of this year. A couple of young women are facing grand theft after taking a pair of electric scooters on a joyride. 20-year-old Michaela Petty of Canyon Country and 19-year-old Stevie Thacker of Castaic are being held on grand theft charges in lieu of $20,000 bail. They were arrested Wednesday evening in Canyon Country. Witnesses say the pair stole the electric scooters from the Ralph's supermarket in the 19,300 block of Soledad Canyon Road just after 8 o'clock. Deputies caught up with them in the nearby Food for Less parking lot. Both are due in court Friday. It may only be a simulation, but the emotions are real. Juniors and seniors at West Ranch High School watched as their friends were pulled from a staged car crash outside of campus Thursday as part of an every 15 minutes program. Sheriff deputies and other emergency officials responded to the staged fatal collision that involved driving under the influence. The emotional program is designed to educate teens about the real dangers of reckless driving, DUI, and texting while driving. The Every 15 Minutes program is funded by a grant from the California Office of Traffic Safety. Here in Santa Clarita, the program is staged at two to three high schools each year. America's largest and most prestigious professional cycling race is coming to Santa Clarita again this year. The 2015 Amgen Tour of California route was announced Thursday. The milestone course will feature several rider and fan favorite locales from past races, including Santa Clarita. Stage 5 will begin in Santa Barbara, where riders will make the nearly 100-mile trek to Valencia, with the race ending on Magic Mountain Parkway. 144 of the world's most talented and decorated cyclists will ride the route, covering 724 miles across the, st the state from May 10th through the 17th. You know, it's really uphill, believe it or not. It looks relatively flat, I think, probably on television, coming from Santa Barbara, but we're actually at some level of elevation here. We're about uh, 1,100 feet. We've seen some amazing finishes here in Santa Clarita. They come down to that finish line, neck and neck, major sprinters going across the line. We think it'll be a fabulous finish. This is 14 the first teams time. of the world's top women cyclists will compete for the first time in the Amgen Tour of California with a separate four-day event. College of the Canyon's Mesa program is celebrating National Engineers Week by hosting their second annual STEM Week. The Mesa program, or Mathematics, Engineering, and Science Achievement, encourages students to take on an engineering group competition every year. Last year, the students did an egg drop where they used parachutes to drop eggs off a three-story building, and this year they had to construct a system that would drop a sugar cube into a cup. Mesa program director Eric Lara says the competition is a great way to build team building skills. So we have two teams uh, presenting, uh, two teams of six, um, and the ultimate goal is to pour sugar into a coffee cup. Um, they, have, they can do whatever they want, to use any material they want, uh, but they have two minutes to, to rent it and they have to pour sugar and they have eight minutes to re-rent it and do it again. Um, so it's just a way for them to do teamwork, uh, expose them to engineering um, and have some fun while, while we're doing it. The week's events also included talks from industry professionals, a Rube Goldberg machine contest and a planned field trip to a local manufacturing business. 
Another warm and sunny day in the Santa Clarita Valley Thursday, but a chance of some rain is on the horizon. Daytime temperatures topped out at 79 degrees today. Overnight lows are expected in the low 50s. Mostly sunny skies and temps in the low 70s are expected Friday with even cooler temperatures in store on Saturday. Saturday evening, we're looking at a slight chance of rain. The threat of showers will remain with us through the start of next week. That's all for your SV News Break. For more local news, you can log on to hometownstation.com or scvnews.com. Thanks for watching. I'm Dave Caldwell.